Good morning, happy Thursday. We are on the way to the orthopedic surgeon's office to get the results of my MRI. Should be awesome. You know what? No, there's nothing awesome about this. It's early and I'm nervous. cautiously optimistic. It's been feeling better the last couple days, so I really hope it's just a little bit of rehab. Well, I have a lot to think about. My posterior labrum is torn um, and it requires surgery. I'm not so much worried about the surgery part as I am the recovery part. After a month of healing, it takes another five months of rehab to get to where I am now, hopefully. Was it worth snowboarding? Yes. <laughs> So obviously I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do. I told the doctor I would let him know after I talked to Jessica about it. Um, but my main question is how do you take care of a three month old with one hand? <laughs> I, I guess I'm gonna be able to use my hand, you know, to a certain point, but um, I'm not gonna be lifting him over my head or I don't know. It's gonna, I'm gonna become a lefty um, for half a year. What to do, what to do. I could choose only rehab, but then there's the risk of developing arthritis and ever being back to normal on my shoulder. And I plan on being in the aviation industry for another 30 years before I retire. So I kind of need this, but I don't know. I don't know. I do know that I have to go to Target and continue my husband and fatherly duties. So we'll see you later. Honey, I'm home. Well, um, we had a long conversation about that. I still have a lot to think about. The big thing is, am I gonna be able to take care of the baby as well as I should? Uh, because she's going back to work in three weeks. And yeah, doing all that one-handed uh, is going to prove to be difficult, I believe. But it's nothing I can't handle. All right, I got to go to work. And then uh, afterwards, I'm going to talk to you about another thing that I've been meaning to share with you. See ya. So I want to talk about something that we've been keeping from you guys. Um, about two weeks ago, we had to give our dog Baron to another family. Uh, it's been a really tough issue for us. It's been a sad couple weeks, um, but it's for good reason and I want to explain. So it was a regular morning. Uh, Baron was behaving abnormally well. Henry was on the floor in his little rocking chair just playing with his rattles. Jessica and I were on the couch watching TV. And out of nowhere, Bear just kind of lunges, snaps, and growls at Henry. Gets real close to his face and, and scares us uh, pretty bad. What do you do in that situation, right? You remove the dog and you check on the kid. Uh, the baby was fine. He didn't get bit or scratched. But as you can imagine, it plants a seed in the back of your mind. Um, you know, how do you leave the dog with the kid alone ever in the future? You know, Henry's not even crawling yet. Um, imagine what could happen in that situation. You know, at the end of the day, dogs are wild instinctively. Uh, you can house train them all you want, but um, you just never know. 
So Jessica and I made the difficult decision to surrender him to our local shelter. Luckily, something that made the experience a lot easier for us, uh, the local dog community here in Seattle uh, came together and we were able to actually find a perfect family for Baron in West Seattle. And that's what I was doing there the other day. Um, he got a chance to go play with them and meet them. And, you know, we're just really optimistic, feeling really good about his new placement. It goes without saying, when you have a new baby, your attention shifts and it just was no longer beneficial for both parties. Uh, Bear wasn't getting the attention he deserved. You know, we live in an apartment. He doesn't have a yard to run around in. So it, it was a hard decision, but, uh, you know, we're moving forward and, um, you know, that's that. So in closing, here's a couple of our favorite bear memories. And, uh, you know, we're just trying not to live in the past. We're gonna look forward and know that he's in, in good hands and having a blast. Peace. You like the TV? Bear.